again, a lot of my content might seem very much on one theme or one or two themes, but I think at the minute we're, we're facing a, a major crisis in the United Kingdom. And the British working class, I believe this, is represented, especially the male British working class, men under 60, I would say, and possibly over 60 as well. The vast majority of the British, and let's get it right, probably white working class, and I'm not saying that in a racist way, you know, just to give that caveat, but that's the reality of the situation. That's the majority of the population at the moment in the United Kingdom. Realise there is something dreadfully wrong in the country. We're very uneasy about it. We're trying to find solutions. And I've just done a video on the pledge. And again, I want to just, again, commend the pledge here, the pledge.org.uk. But the person that embodies that frustration, that passion to see the UK saved, and that fighting spirit of the working class Englishman. When I grew up in, in Middlesbrough as a kid, I think from the age of 14 to about 24, it felt like I had a fight every single week. That included my time in the military as, as well as as well as well growing up and becoming a TJ, teenager, working on the building sites, all that sort of stuff. But that's how it felt. The vast majority of working class men in my town, they were hard men, they were fighting men. And I don't mean that, I don't mean they were thugs. But there were men that, that wouldn't take any nonsense off anyone. They'd stand up for the wives. They'd stand up for the children. And that's the way men are meant to be. And of course, when you go in the military, you expand that out and you're going to stand up for your country. So the British working class, they are working men. That's the whole point. They're not bums. They're not people that are just sitting around smoking weed and, and wasting their lives away. These are men that go out, do a graft, get money for the family, do whatever it takes to, to get a few quid and do as well as they can. The, the, the Labour Party hates people like that. That's people like me. But the man that most represents that ethos, I believe, in this country is Tommy Robinson. And he is facing the biggest trial, literally and metaphorically, of his life. If you're a praying person, if you're a Christian, I would recommend that you pray for Tommy Robinson. If you're not, I would recommend that you support him any way you can. And whether you're a praying person or not a praying person, I recommend on the 26th of October, you get down to London. Because we're, we're, I mean, we are going to do the most amazing event. And, and we've done some, I mean, listen, the last three have been fantastic. But this one is going to be the most amazing event that you'll that you'll have attended what we've got in terms of speakers and entertainment and and films it's just going to be absolutely phenomenal and of course you come and go as you please once you come you can come and go as you please you're not you're not corralled in and you don't have to stay there but i think the important thing is that we get there for tommy because he is facing trial on the 28th of of um the 28th of october and from just, you know, a brief dialogue with him today, there's other stuff that he's facing or could be facing. So this is a very worrying time for him. And he needs our support now. And dare I say it, he needs financial support now. And he needs moral support. He needs the whole country getting behind him. He needs you writing to your MPs. And I'll talk about that a bit later on. But he needs masses of people out on the street. And again, I called the veterans to come. I called the... Um, the Christian, black Christian, the black Christian churches to come. I'd like to call on Sikhs and the Hindus, people that have stood with him down through the years to come, the Jewish community to come. Let's make this a genuine multi-ethnic, multicultural celebration of what Britain is now. Oh, sorry, I'll, I'll rephrase that. What Britain was maybe 10, 20 years ago when it was a place where everybody got on. You know, there was people were integrated, things were going well until this mass influx of people coming from countries and cultures that do not recognize or respect our way of life. And that's what's dying in our country. And Tommy's the man that represents it. So what he needs, he needs us to stand with him. And politicians that criticize him should hang their heads in shame. They are cowards, absolute gutless, spineless cowards, because Nobody's saying Tommy's a perfect man. 
He doesn't say it himself. Just like me and just like every one of you watching this. You know, there's a, there's a passage in the Bible about the woman caught in adultery and these men are bring her before Jesus and they were going to stone her. That's, you know, that's what the Muslims do. They stone women for adultery. But they obviously haven't read the New Testament. Because what does Jesus say? He says, let he who is without sin cast the first stone. And that's the situation with Tommy. If you think you've no sin and you've never done anything wrong and you point a finger at Tommy, well, good luck to you. Because like all of us, like all of us, he is flawed. But I tell you what, he is the bravest, most passionate man that we have in this country. And what he is facing and the way he is conducting himself at the moment is incredible. Is incredible. He's still going about his business. Most people would have collapsed in a heap facing what he's facing. And um, I'm not going to go into it because if, if he watches this video, which he probably will, I don't want to remind him of what he's facing. OK, so I'm not going to labour the point, but he's facing a very, very difficult few years. And we need to stand with him and we need to call this government to account and make sure that this government does not throw him to the wolves, does not allow him to be harmed or attacked in prison, that he's properly protected by the state. And, and this is what I was going to get onto. I'll say this quickly. What we all need to do is write to our local MPs and ask our MPs to write a written question to the prisons minister, to the home secretary, to the prime minister, demanding that whatever happens to Tommy as he goes through this farce of, well, don't put that the farce of a legal process in there because I probably won't read the letter, but it is a farce of a legal process. As he goes through this farcical legal process and possibly goes to prison, we need to demand that his mental and physical well-being are protected by the state. And if that means he doesn't go to prison because his mental well-being would not be, um, would be put under too much pressure, then the state has to make sure he doesn't go to prison. So we need to start writing those letters now and getting questions asked now. And we need to lobby everybody that we can lobby. We need to lobby people outside of this country. Gert Wilders, Trump, um, any sensible politicians. There's not too many sensible ones anymore. Most of them have had lobotomies. They are brain dead. And I'm probably going to get in trouble for saying that and upset a few people. But anyway, we've got to stand with Tommy. There was a hashtag on Twitter. I don't know who made it up. I stand, hashtag I stand with Tommy. And I think we all should say that. I stand with Tommy. Because what he's going to face, very few men in this country will have faced what he's going to face. And he has done nothing wrong. He hasn't attacked anyone. He hasn't hurt anyone. <laughs> Last interview I saw him, he said, I've got loads of Muslim friends and I love them. So why is he the most persecuted man in the country? He's the most persecuted man in the country because he speaks about the ideology. And he speaks very articulately and very clearly about it. He has done for the past 15 years. And I stand with him. I'll do whatever I can to help. If I'm called upon, I'll do whatever, whatever I'm called upon to do to help. And we must stand with Tommy. And that's it. I stand with Tommy. Are you going to stand with Tommy? See you all soon.